Welcome to NanoTouch installation training. In this video, we're going to cover the installation of one of our 9x12 touchscreen films onto an iPad. We've taken and cut this down to size, so it's actually 10.5 by 8 now. And we've clipped the corners of it with the corner clipping tool that we found on Amazon. Just makes for a nice clean installation. A few other things that you're going to want to have on hand is an absorbent towel, a lint-free cloth to clean with, and a squeegee. Uh, also, this is an optical lens cleaner, different than uh, Windex. It actually works a little bit better for this type of installation. And I keep a, a duster can on hand to actually spray off any lint that may come onto the surface because that really will impact the look of things. So to begin with, uh, what we we're gonna wanna do is actually make sure that you start with a clean surface. I've actually cleaned this ahead of the video just to shorten things a little bit. But also, just prior to installation, you just want to make sure that you get a nice, nice clean surface and you blow any kind of lint particles off of there. Next thing that you want to do is take the touchscreen film itself and turn it upside down. Um, what I do for this actually is to put the adhesive side up and put a little bit of the spray, uh, actually the lens cleaner on there actually a fair amount of it and what that does is it actually acts as kind of a just a plate way that you can float this onto the surface nice and smooth and it minimizes the amount of bubbling and that kind of thing that you would encounter now it, initially you're going to see quite a bit but with that squeegee you're going to take that and just slowly begin to smooth these things out towards the edge and then as you're doing it i just recommend wiping that excess moisture that comes out as you're doing the squeegee. You just go around. Continuing to wipe. Like that. back the other way, smoothing it out to the edges. Packing it down like that. Initially, when you get done with this, there'll still be some kind of a haze look to it, and that will get better as the uh, liquid underneath actually evaporates over time. And then once you're done with that, you just wanna take and install one of our self-cleaning touchscreen labels like this. So people will know that that's a self-cleaning touchscreen and that's all there is to it.